God-fearers Greek, phobumenos tun theon, phobumenos tun theon, or God-worshippers Greek, theosibes, theosibes, were a numerous class of Gentile sympathizers to Hellenistic Judaism, which observed certain Jewish religious rites and traditions without becoming full converts to Judaism. The concept has precedence in the proselytes of the Hebrew Bible. Overview History, status and diffusion Over the last 50 years a growing number of scholars of Judaic studies and history of Judaism became interested in the subject of God-fearers and their relationship with Hellenistic Judaism and early Christianity. According to the most common assumption, Jews that lived in the Greco-Roman world during the Hellenistic and Roman period were not involved in active missionary efforts of mass conversion among pagans, although many historians disagree. As Jews emigrated and settled in the Roman provinces of the empire, Judaism became an appealing religion to a large number of pagans for many reasons. God-fearers and proselytes that underwent full conversion were Greeks or Romans and came from all social classes. They were mostly women and freedmen, liberty, but there were also artisans, soldiers and few people of high status, like patricians and senators, the class of God-fearers existed between the 1st and the 3rd century CE. They are mentioned in Latin and Greek literature, Flavius Josephus and Philo's historical works, rabbinic literature, early Christian writings, and other contemporary sources such as synagogue inscriptions from diaspora communities Palestine, Rome and Asia Minor. Sources. Topic. Hebrew Bible In the Hebrew Bible Tanakh, there is some recognition of Gentile monotheistic worship as being directed toward the God of the Jews. This forms the category of Yireh Hashem, Yireh Shamayim Hebrew, Yireh Hsm meaning, fearers of the name, fearers of heaven, the name, being a Jewish euphemism for Yahweh, cf. Psalm chapter 115 verse 11. This was developed by later rabbinic literature into the concept of Noahides, Gentiles that follow the seven laws of Noah, which rabbinic writings assign to the Noahic covenant. In inscriptions, texts and papyri The Greek terms that refer to God-fearers are found in ancient literature Greek, Roman, and Jewish and synagogue inscriptions discovered in Aphrodisias, Panticopium, Trails, Sardis, Venosa, Lorium in Rome, Rhodes, Delilah Philadelphia, and Miletus. Judging from the distinctions in the Acts of the Apostles it is thought that they did not become Garam Zedekim, which required circumcision, although the evidence across the centuries varies widely and the meaning of the term may have included all kinds of sympathetic Gentiles, proselytes or not. There are also around 300 text references 4th century BCE to 3rd century CE to a sect of Hypsisterians, some of whom practiced Sabbath and which many scholars see as sympathizers with Judaism related to God-fearers. In early Christian writings God-fearers is used of those pagans who attached themselves in varying degrees to Judaism without becoming total converts, and are referred to in the Christian New Testament's Acts of the Apostles, which describes the apostolic age of the first century. So Paul stood up, and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you that fear God, hoi phobomenoi tun theon listen. Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you that fear God, en hymen phobomenoi tun theon to us has been sent the message of this salvation. <laughs> <laughs> Role in Pauline Christianity God-fearers are considered to be of significant importance to the growth of early Christianity. They represented a group of Gentiles who shared religious ideas and practices with Jews, to one degree or another. However, they were not converts, but a separate Gentile community, engaged in certain Jewish religious rites and traditions. Actual conversion to Judaism would require adherence to all of the laws of Moses, which includes various prohibitions kashrut, circumcision, Shabbat observance etc. that were generally unattractive to would-be Gentile converts. 
The right of circumcision was especially unappealing and execrable in classical civilization because it was the custom to spend an hour a day or so exercising nude in the gymnasium and in Roman baths, therefore Jewish men did not want to be seen in public deprived of their foreskins. Hellenistic and Roman culture both found circumcision to be cruel and repulsive. The Apostle Paul, in his letters, fiercely criticized the Judaizers that demanded circumcision for Gentile converts, and opposed them. He stressed instead that faith in Christ constituted a new covenant with God, a covenant which essentially provides a free gift of salvation from the harsh edicts of the Mosaic law for Gentiles that didn't require circumcision see also Christian liberty, Pauline passages supporting antinomianism, abrogation of old covenant laws. The only God-fearers known to be converted to Christianity by Paul mentioned in the New Testament were Cornelius the Centurion, Lydia of Thyatira and the Ethiopian eunuch. In Paul's message of salvation through faith as opposed to works, many God-fearers found an essentially Jewish group to which they could belong without the necessity of their accepting Jewish law. Aside from earning Paul's group a wide following, this view was generalized in the eventual conclusion that converts to Christianity need not first accept all Jewish law see Apostolic Decree, a fact which was indispensable to the popularity of the early Christian movement and which would eventually lead to the distinction between Judaism and Christianity as two separate religions. Topic. See also Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links Catholic Encyclopedia, Proselyte Mentions, Fearers of God Louis H. Feldman, The Omnipresence of the God-Fearers, Biblical Archaeology Review 12, 5 Center for Online Judaic Studies A. Chanyotis, "'Godfearers in the City of Love", Biblical Archaeology Review 36, 3 2010, Biblical Archaeology Society A. Guttmacher, "'Fear of God", 1906, Jewish Encyclopedia.